what about um, the prospect of future development of China's party system? Because mm -hmm. that's one thing that some Western politicians have been hanging on their lips, saying, oh, China didn't change the way we want them to, or China should change the way we want them to. I guess they, they talk about China adopting a Western liberal democratic uh, you know, system. Uh, on the other hand, China has uh, tried in its history as well, to copy all kinds of Western, mm. you know, system, constitutional, you know, democracy, uh, 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 parliamentary system, and yet without success. So uh, how do you look at the, pro the future prospect of China's party system? Uh, I think China has uh, found a system which has performed better than the Western political system, full stop. That's very important. In other words, for rings, I describe Chinese model or political system as selection plus election. It's much better than simply election. Yeah. So this is uh, 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 very important. And then it's not that, you know, uh, at certain stage, China will copy the Western political system. We really look way beyond the Western political model. We think that model has genetic defects, as I said many times. The assumption that human beings are rational, they can cast a rational vote. No. I had debate with Professor Fukuyama, the author of the end of history, exactly this time, 10 years ago. I said United States and China both need the political reforms. But United States perhaps need more reform because your system is a product of pre-industrial era. You need far more reform than China. And I made a prediction, without substantial reforms, my concern is the United States may elect a president worse off than George W. Bush. It turned out to be true, at the eyes of most Americans and outsiders. And I also made another prediction, without substantial reforms of American political system, you will have no way to deal with what I call simple-minded populism. Just look at the quality of decision-making in the United States really great by vested interests. The quality of this decision is so poor, you know. When the trade war started by Donald Trump, I said the third rate decision, you know, making process and third rate quality. How can you compete with China model in terms of decision making quality? So I think, you know, it's very different. It's also the uh, um, feeling of, I think most Chinese today, uh, United States democracy, well, if they think it's a good system, the great system, best system, please stay with it. We do not envy you, <laughs> you know, indeed. Carry on it with it, we don't envy you. So what do they want to see coming out of China? Do they want to see a China that adopts a Western political system or do they want to see China uh, mm -hmm. suppressed, contained, so that it's not able to you know, overtake the United States in terms of dominance or strength? What exactly is on their mind? Indeed, for a country like China today, there is no way to contain China. And China is the world's largest economy by purchasing power parity. China has the world's largest middle class, over 400 million people, real middle class. When they go to the United States, when they go to Europe, they're also middle class with properties, with decent income, more than the US population. China also has, China is the largest trading nation. China. Uh, is also in the, at the cutting edge of the new industrial revolution. So with all this, you know, China also the largest uh, consumer society. Uh, so, so I don't think you can contain country like that. I just checked, you know, even between China and United States, one day's trade volume is larger than uh, the trade volume between United States and Soviet Union for one year. So there are already a lot of interconnections and uh, interactions between China, United States, and the West. So I think it's far better for China and the United States and the West to respect each other, their political system. If you think your system is great, we do not envy you. You can carry on with it, but we think our system is great for us. So that's the opinion I share with you. Is there any possibility that China is going to say, OK, in order to have a more relaxed international environment, that China mm -hmm. is going to 
adjust itself to make others feel more comfortable? No, this is um, uh, indeed, if you talk about diplomacy, it's a uh, give and take. We can sit down and talk to each other. And we prefer that very uh, much. But on matter of principle, like the political system uh, uh, and uh, uh, the other institutions for each and every nation, this is very important. The very of success of China depends on its political system. Uh, I think, you know, uh, uh, the Chinese have a very great respect for learning from others. If you are working together with two other people, you can learn from them. One of them can be your teacher. So I think, you know, uh, in the past decades, China has learned so much from other countries, from the United States, from the West. I think, you know, it's time for the West to look at China's performance, look at the Chinese model in honesty. You should have the courage to do that. Eventually, you'll find that maybe you can learn something and learn a lot from the Chinese model and Chinese experience.